Hello, my fellow preppers. We're going to be talking about nutrition today. I know a lot of people do not like to talk about this subject. Uh, this is the elephant in the room uh, in terms of health. One of their main reasons for health problems uh, between us preppers uh, and even, you know, with the main, you know, general population. So it's no surprise that most of us do not eat well. Uh, it's not just a, a matter of uh, not getting enough uh of exercise and sleep and de-stressing the body, uh, detoxing the body, you know, having less stressful lives in general, it's about the nutrients that we either neglect and we uh, are in deficit of um, or the toxic stuff that we put in our body in place of real nutrients. And um, I really just think we need to talk about this. This deserves a whole series, to be honest with you. But I'm gonna just kind of make it a uh, this is a longer video uh, and try to make it a single video talking about this. So um, <clears throat> obviously we have supplements in front of us. Th this is for those who really just don't care about trying to better themselves. But but your nutrients though, even when you buy them in this format, uh, this is a very inexpensive type of Swanson the Ultra uh, whole food tablets, uh, multivitamin minerals without iron. This is for males. With with females you can get it with iron. Uh, this is a, a one month supply. If you take three a day, it's 90 tablets, or you can just, you can spread them out in an emergency, take one a day and you have a three month supply. These typically go for about $10 at Swanson's, um, website. And, uh, let's just see here and make sure I got the uh, website correct here. And, uh, okay. Swansonvitamins.com. And you can order at 1-800-437-4148. And uh, you can just easily Google them and find them on the web. But I'm not here to sell them, you know, sell vitamins. I'm just saying, though, that your body can't even absorb this stuff, no matter how quality the, the product is, if you have a bunch of junk in your body, especially a lot of gluten. And we're going to get into detail of some things you should probably avoid. Uh, and let's just start with gluten. <clears throat> gluten, though, is um, it's just a nasty substance. Uh, I personally don't do gluten. Um, I, uh, have taken that out of my diet a while back and, uh, I think you should just look at all the health implications, especially dietary and immune system wise. Uh, it really tears and breaks down the body. It causes also a lot of inflammation, but the biggest problem though, it, it actually, it, it, it impedes the body to uptake and absorb your nutrients. And this is a serious issue. If you have a lot of health issues, cut out the bread. Okay guys, cut out the gluten. And, uh, and you're going to see some major results. Typically within two weeks, you can, you'll think clear. Your skin will uh, have less uh, you know, uh, dryness and less, less problems overall. Uh, your gut, we know, is going to be much better. You can absorb your nutrients. You're healthier. And you have a lot more energy and, and so forth. It just keeps on going on. Uh, so that's just one thing to, to look out for. Of course, the MSG in the foods, all the artificial colors and flavorings and all that crap. Uh, any kind of processed sugar, uh, a lot of this is basic knowledge. Any kind of processed carbs, processed food in general, if you can avoid it, just avoid all of it uh, and just go with good foods. Uh, and a big thing these days is the, the genetically modified organisms, the GMO foods, which uh, unfortunately most of the grocery store uses GMO now. Uh, I personally would avoid all the GMO foods. And I know this is just kind of crazy for a lot of people and it's like a culture shock for people that are trying to get healthy once you figure out how much of your what you're eating is really bad for you, which is which is the majority, if not all, of what you're eating, uh, it can be not only just a little overwhelming, but a lot overwhelming. And so, all I'm doing today is just trying to increase your awareness uh, of things that you can do and things that you shouldn't do, uh, just in a very general outline. I'm not telling you anything to do. You do what you want. You're a, you're a grown up, most likely. Uh, and if you're a kid, uh, then you need to, you know, maybe represent yourself and say, Mom, Dad, uh, please don't feed me this crap anymore if you're, if you're not being fed real food. So, with that being said, though, and my rambling, I just want to talk about, and this may be a little bit easier way to kind of express uh, what I do and, so, uh, and why I do it. So, what do I eat and, uh, and how do I eat? Um, so, that's a good question. Um, I get this a lot from uh, people that I know. Uh, they think that uh, it might be a little extreme, but I don't think so. Uh, like I said, I don't uh, pretty much buy almost anything at the grocery store. Uh, most of it's complete crap. Uh, you know, I think eggs are very important. It's one of the most bioavailable forms of protein for the human body. 
Uh, it's uh, the highest quality protein that there is. Um, yes, you can eat uh, beans and things, and they have they have protein. But there's actually a, a a quality of protein index, and there's there's different types of proteins that have different types of amino acids. And, and you know, with with eggs, you can have a complete protein. Uh, there is no food that I know of that are just vegetables only that will give you a complete protein because they're they're lacking amino acids. And so. Yes, you do need to have a variety of foods, especially if you're uh, a vegan or a vegetarian. And I'm not totally knocking uh, the vegetarians per se, but you're going to have to figure out how to get uh, those amino acids that are not available in just vegetables only. So there's a problem there. That's why I think that long term, though, uh, even if you don't want to eat meat, and I hardly ever eat meat. I, I mean, I'm almost a vegetarian most of the time. I mean, I'm like about 98% uh, vegetarian. Without the with the exception of I, I, I do eat eggs, so um, that's it. And um, and so eggs is my number one food. Uh, I do a lot of sprouts. I sprout foods. Um, I do salads, obviously, but uh, I do no oils, no salad dressings. The oils are, have uh, inflammatory properties. They uh, they oxidize, and when uh, they oxidize, uh, they cause ox you know all kind of uh, inflammation of the body. And so you want to avoid all oils, unless they're fresh oils, like if you have um, uh, a fruit, for example, or a vegetable, and if there's any natural oils, like coconut oils. If you buy a whole coconut, you know, and you eat it fresh, there's the likelihood of that, that oil is oxidizing right then and there is very low. Just eat things that are fresh, and that's fine. But this processed olive oil and all this other crap, very bad for you. Even peanut butter. Uh, peanut butter has a lot of oils in it. Unfortunately, after you open it, within a matter of minutes, most likely, uh, it, the air hits it and oxidizes it, and now it's it's not good for you. It's inflammatory, and so it goes on and on like that. So what else do I eat? Uh, I eat a lot of uh, fruits and vegetables, as, as you would imagine, and um, I love chickpeas. I do a lot of things. I try to actually try to cook much, um, not because I don't like cooking. I don't mind cooking. It's just uh, a lot of times heat. Uh, heat actually uh, uh, breaks down vitamins. We've known this for a long time in, in, in nutrient science. So you want to avoid heat. And if you have to use heat, lose, use the lowest temperature possible, even if you have to cook it over a longer period of time. And uh, also you would probably want to use and cook things in water. Uh, that's going to be better too. Uh, if you overcook things, even like eggs, uh, you start breaking down the proteins and of course uh, uh, the vitamins get completely uh, burnt up and so that's a no-go. So uh, you want to try to eat uh, more raw foods, more fresh foods. Uh, you definitely want to look at uh, not overcooking your food and even if you do buy canned goods, just be mindful that the liner in the cans, on most cans, unless it says it, has BPA and uh, that's no good either uh, but if you do uh, eat cans foods uh, you know try to avoid uh, putting things in the microwave i mean if anything just get rid of your microwave the microwave is uh, is not good it's just a, a radiation box literally it's like a it's a radio transmitter at the frequency you know uh, wavelengths and it, uh, as we talked about before microwaves only work by stimulating and causing friction with the water molecules creating that friction which causes heat and it warms uh, that water which in effect makes it feel like the other uh, part of the food is warm uh, but it's uh, it breaks down protein and all kind of nutrient quali qualities in the food when you microwave so microwave is a no-go uh, what else do we need to do so uh, besides stress and relieving that stress uh, getting good sleep exercise having lots of fun you know doing things that you like to do uh, and having quiet times um, you know, this, this diet is really a, a big part of it. And I mean, when I say diet, I'm not saying go on a diet. I'm just saying have a lifestyle of eating well and not try to go on fads and not try to, uh, you know, just say to yourself, well, I just got to lose 30 pounds and I can just do whatever I want. No, no, it's a lifestyle and you got to just get hooked into what you think is going to be good for you and then just maintain that forever. And you should want to maintain it because you should feel good if you're doing the right stuff, you know? So, I mean, I like bananas and apples and, um, uh, you know, whatever kind of fruits and vegetables you like. Just make sure they're coming from a clean source, the best that you can get. And, uh, and if you feel like you're lacking, uh, you can always just make sure you have a good multivitamin. Uh, there's all kind of other forms of vitamins. I, sometimes I take higher quality vitamins in this. This is just for us, you know, that we're on a budget. I'm just doing that as a demo. Uh, but 
Overall, people, I, I think that uh, we have to be mindful that we have nutri- nutrients that is an issue, having good nutrients and fulfilling our body's nutrients uh, needs. Uh, a lot of people on the forum, especially a lot of uh, survivalists that uh, talk about storable food, all they want to talk about is calories. I see it all the time, even very good intentioned people. Do I have enough calories in my, in my stash? Do you know, the calories, calories, calories. No one talks almost ever about nutrients and the nutrient quantities and what you need and what your body needs. And that's because people don't know. People are not even educated. People don't have a clue what they need and don't need and what's bad for them, what's good for them. They just know that, oh, I need some calories because calories means energy and that's all I need, right? No. I mean, just as equal, if not even more important than, uh, because you can have empty calories that are just horrible. You can just eat a bag of sugar and that has calories, but, you know, sugar takes nutrient out of you, especially if it's a refined sugar. It takes more out of you than it gives you, you know? So it's one of those things that we have to be very careful about what we consider a, a good investment in, you know, in terms of food and, and energy for our body. So, uh, so I'd be curious about your thoughts on, uh, on food in general, because this is not really a video on uh, uh, storage foods and stuff. Uh, we've already talked about that, and there's a video series on that if you wish. I may have to remake that because uh, it may have been just a little bit long-winded, and I might have been a rambling like I am now. But basically, the message is there if you can, uh, if you have the patience to kind of wait through it. And so all I'm saying now is just be aware and know what you need in your body. Uh, it's not good to overeat. It's not good to eat a lot of junk food, processed food. Just stay away from these things. Just you, And I think deep down you know what's good for you and what's not. Uh, there's a lot of uh, cravings that we get because we've gotten basically addicted, literally, not just psychologically and emotionally, but physically addicted to certain foods. It could be caffeine. It could be sugars. It could be uh, just that high we get when we eat these, uh, uh, these high-carb foods, those donuts. I mean, there's a real physiological connection to the mind when you have donuts. Uh, I've been through that years ago. I had a hard time getting off of those and uh, because it's very addicting. You know, you get that sugar rush, and yes, you get a crash, but sometimes you try to get over that crash by eating more donuts to get high again, uh, you know, in, in terms of feeling like you have a lot of energy, but you're putting a lot of trauma on the body. And so uh, let's just be honest with ourselves, and if you need to do make some changes in your diet or your, your health overall, you, you, can't, you can't start too early. You can start now. You know, tomorrow you'll look back and be and thank yourself. A week from now, you'll thank yourself. A month from now, you're going, wow, I feel way better. A year from now, you may look completely different. You may have lost that weight without even really trying because you made the right choices and not going on some kind of fad diet. This is the Art of Prepping signing out. I wish you good health and I'll catch you real soon.